and hello my Scorpios! It's Tori, the Hope Dilla of Guided Intuition, and I'm here, my love muffins, to do your monthly spiritual guidance from spirit, your guides, Jesus, Allah, the universe, whatever it is you believe in. This is what they want you to pay attention to in the month of May. So my loves, I want you to keep in mind that this is a general reading. It may resonate, it may not. However, okay, there are so many beautiful souls via YouTube or social media that are sharing their gifts. You're going to find someone who picks up on your energy, Scorpio. So if the shoe does not fit, don't force it. I have a message for a particular group of Scorpios. So if this is not resonating, don't pay this any mind. But um, so, okay, my Scorpios, before I go ahead and get into your monthly spiritual guidance, there is something that I want to talk about to a particular group of Scorpios. Um, the overall energy as a collective is reclaiming your power. Reclaim your power. This is your month, Scorpio. Whatever you have felt has been weighing you down, whatever you have been dealing with internally, externally, you know, whatever you have you know, kept hidden in the dark. We all do it. But I really feel this is the month for you to liberate yourself. This is a month for you to free yourself. This is a month where you can um, learn to love your dark. Okay. Um, because sometimes we can run from our shadows, you know, our shadow side. I don't know what it is, but there's this concept because even honey, I am all I am love and light. However, even your Tori has her things that she is working through <laughs> actively on a conscious level. And I really feel like for some of my Scorpios, okay, because some message came out and I got to give it, you know, so if it, if, it, if it does, the shoe does not fit, don't take it. Just wait till we get to the rest. But for some of my Scorpios, I really feel like there is something that you have been juggling with. There is something that you have been running from. Honest to goodness, um, the three of cups came out along with the panther spirit, reclaim your power. And I really feel like it's some kind of addiction, something that, you know, Probably no one would know this about you. It could be a substance abuse. I honestly, I did see like drinking for somebody, but also addictions can show up in many forms. And that's one of the things that um, energy that may is really helping all of us as a collective work through is our addictions and those things that we like to bury in the dark and those things that, you know, we don't love about ourselves. This could be a relationship that, you know, is addictive. This could be um, drinking. This could be um, eating. This could be, you know, negative down talk of how you see yourself. This, whatever this three of cups and overindulgence is what I'm seeing. It's something, it, it, it's something of a passion though, what I'm feeling like, you know, even like, please don't come in when I say this Scorpio, like the victim mentality, you know, like you're stuck and like, it's whatever you go to that, you know, even, if, even though it's not good for you, but it gives you that satisfaction. It gives you that dopa that dopamine. Am I saying that right guys? Like, it's like, you know, okay. We got this, um, Panther spirit here. Reclaim your power. Um, one of the truths that spirit is really, um, asking me to speak up on in the month of May is not running from your, your shadow side, or I want to say the darkness. Cause it's something just very, even though this car, but even this, this energy, something is something dark. It's something that maybe you feel like you don't want nobody to know. And that's the thing about secrets. Secrets kill, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I feel like spirit is saying, no, don't run from that. Um, my daughter or my son, what I want you to do is I want you to love it into light. That is one of the ways that I was able to come over certain addictions and certain things, guys, is that when you come into acceptance of it, when you stop running from it, when you face it, um, that's the first step of change. And I really feel like there's something in that nature, Scorpio, that you are reclaiming your power from. Maybe it's a relationship, you know, um, for some of you, it's, it could be an abusive. It's just not good to you. It just really um, depletes you. This thing depletes you even though you return to it. And I feel like you are, um, you know, reclaiming your power because this oracle brings a message of it takes courage to face challenges. And right now, 
Panther Spirit is here to say that you are braver than you think. Now is the time to take a risk and step into a different aspect of your being. And also, I'm getting it another way too. Um, For some of my Scorpios, maybe you have been in the shadows for so long that you don't know how to accept... um, Accept the light, accept the good things, accept the fruits of life. You know what I'm saying? So you always look for the negative, you know, because you or you push people away. You know what I'm saying? You push good opportunities away because for whatever reason, it could go either either way. That's the scenario that spirit just showed me. But it says um, the, the different aspects of your being. Speak as you have never spoken before. Act as you have always dreamed. You might have the courage to act. Love fearlessly and fully and expect to feel the adrenaline, the adrenaline rush as you are initiated into a new, braver, bolder self. So listen, the month of May for Scorpio as a collective, you are reclaiming your power. You are putting your feet down. You are saying no more to something. Whatever this negative addiction is, whether it's like it said, running from love, running from your blessings, running from the joys, running from the joys of life. Maybe that's the addiction. You don't know how to accept the joys. You don't know how to accept when everything is going good. So you you try to find the wrong or you self-sabotage yourself. Whatever it is, Scorpio, what spirit is saying in the month of May, you are reclaiming your power. It doesn't have to be that way. I just feel like somebody is putting their foot down and they're like, no. And four is a number of action, honey, activation. Something has been awakened inside of you, Scorpio, like never before. That's what I'm seeing for you guys. It says, reclaiming your panther spirit and power. Your new identity may feel strange at first. Ooh, and maybe maybe you've already given this addiction up. Maybe you already moved past this and it just feels weird. Allow it to adapt. Allow, you know, it's a, it's a part of the process. All right, check out the channel. I did a, a May energy as a collective energy for May. Um, and it's all about, it's part of the process. So you definitely want to make sure you check that out, Scorpio. It says your new identity may feel strange at first, but you have what it takes and your soul wants this. Be bold. So I feel like in the month of May, you have the go. Whatever that dream is for yourself, be it in your finances, be it in spirit, um, be it spiritually, be it in love, you know, whatever it is, overcoming, soaring, <laughs> it doesn't matter. You are really in the energy of um, reclaiming your power and enjoying life. That's what I see, okay? Scorpio, now that we have that out of the way, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and just pull your overall, you know, what's your af- what's the affirmation that's going to govern your life in the month of May, okay? And once I do that, I'm going to pull from my spirit animal deck and my tarot deck and just see what does spirit want you to know about the month of May, the energy that's coming in, the energy that's it, um, leaving, anything of importance that spirit wants um, to point out that highlight about the month of May, then we'll go ahead and get into your monthly spiritual guidance. We'll go over what's crowning you, the things you're going to be thinking about, what you need to know about love, what will bring you more fulfillment, the words the spirit wants you to keep at the forefront of your mind. <laughs> okay. We'll go over all of that. So let's just see what is the affirmation spirit for Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for their life in the month of May. I was going to take that. Let's just see. What is the affirmation spirit for Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus when it comes to their life in the month of May? What's going on for them? What affirmation is going to govern their life spirit? Let's see. Options. Yes. Don't, don't. Ooh, I just heard. Hope I say this word right. Don't constrict yourself. Okay. You have options. Don't limit yourself, Scorpio. Don't limit yourself just to one kind of flavor you know, or one kind of thing. You see the ice cream with the shrimp right here, the ch- the shrimp, the chicken. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I took my nails off. Did you know the nail shops are closed, so do not judge me. <laughs> but, you know, it's all these, like, isn't that like a little sausage right there? Oh, my God, my nails are horrible. Sorry, Sorry guys. Somebody needs to stop critiquing themselves. I've been doing all these videos with my nails like this and I have not critiqued myself like this. Somebody really needs to stop doing that. Like you're different. You're in a, you're a bomb ass flavor. Stop critiquing yourself, Scorpio. 
Because anything that I do when I'm in a, a um, someone's that someone energy energy that I'm channeling for, reading for, guidance, it don't matter. I take on that energy, and I feel like there's some, you got to stop judging yourself. Like it's okay. Yes, you are unique. Look at this bowl. It's full with ice cream, shrimp, chicken, sausages, whipped cream, cherries, nuts, sprinkles. You get what I'm saying? Come on. So I really feel like spirit is asking you, Scorpio, in the month of May to really open yourself up to your options. OK, stop setting limits on yourself. It says, as I open to the abundant possibilities of my life's path. I'm reminded that I always have unlimited options. Life is a buffet and I allow myself to choose whatever makes me happiest without limiting thoughts like you can't put mac and cheese on your baked potato. Why not? Why can't you eat chicken and ice cream? <laughs> Who said you couldn't? And I feel like what happened is you're opening up um, Scorpio. I feel like for some of you, this is in love, but just... Also, just how you just see yourself and it first starts with you and that's when life is going to open up. So I feel like that's what Scorpio is doing. You know, that's the affirmation that governs your life in the month of May. You're opening up to endless possibilities. I'm going to take this. Yeah, look at that. The Bobcat life is a mystery. Maybe, um, you know, what spirit is, 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 what is showing me right now, you know, you don't have it all together. You know, maybe you don't have it all together. Maybe you don't know everything. And that's the way that it's supposed to be. All right. Life is a mystery. Maybe if you feel like if you know everything that's going to happen, how it's going to unfold, when it's going to unfold, there's no mystery. Can you imagine knowing every single thing? You know? Can you imagine knowing every detail in life? Okay, so I want to read the Bobcat spirit. It says life is a mystery. The Bobcat moves fiercely and mysteriously. And when the Bobcat spirit appears to you, she brings a powerful reminder that that not all things in life can be explained or understood through the power of intelligence. Trying to figure things out, find logical explanations or predict what will happen based on reasons and facts will not provide you with the certainty and comfort you seek. So listen, that's just like when it comes to a relationship, you know, when you say couple goals or that's what you inspire at the end of the day, no one path is alike. There is not a relationship that is just alike. What I might like, what you might like, it might be completely different, okay? And I feel like what Spirit is saying that you have to be okay with that. That is what the Bob's, um, the Bobcat Spirit is really wanting Scorpio to know. And honestly, for some of you too, I'm feeling like even being comfortable in your sexuality. Maybe um, you like girls, maybe you like boys, maybe you like a combination of both. <laughs> At the end of the day, what toots my boat or what toots yours is not going to be the same. What floats my boat or what floats yours, it's not going to be the same. All right. I might love pineapple pizza. You might think that it's completely gross. You get what I'm saying? I might like chocolate with um, potato chips, but somebody else might not get that. It doesn't make one or the other right. It's all about the path that is truly um, meant for you or what's best for you or what you feel defines you. And I feel like Scorpio, that is something that spirit is really opening your mind up to, be it in relationships, be it in career, be it on your spiritual path. You have to honor you. You get what I'm saying? And I feel like not falling in the flow, but really doing what it is that the flow of you, not the flow of others, but the flow of you is what I'm seeing. Because until you do that, it's not, you're not going to be happy. If you try to be logical, you know, and one of the things that I really did see, um, and I kind of talked about it, if you follow the channel last year in my, um, in my daily guidances, 2020 is truly going to be the year of magic, you know? Magic and logic are contrast to each other. It doesn't mean that neither of them are wrong. You know what I'm saying? But it's all about um, what floats your boat. And maybe you've been going about, you know, you've been dipping and dabbling in logic too much. And spirit is asking to pull you back, you know, into the magic, into your own uniqueness, into your own path is what I'm seeing. Okay, so let's just see, Spirit, what else would you like them to know about the month of May, Scorpio? Yeah, because look when you do that, look what's going to happen. 
This inner fight that you're having is, is going to cease, okay? The hermit. I feel like by doing that, you're going to be able to walk your path. Because how I'm even seeing the hermit, I feel like this is allowing spirit to guide you. You see this light, the North Star, your true, your true path. You know, maybe you're afraid because truly honoring yourself, it's lonely. It's not a path that everyone's walking, but that's not the way that it's meant to be. It's okay. Sorry about that glare, guys. <laughs> it's totally fine. All right. Then we have the wheel. I feel like everything that you're waiting on, okay, is on the other side of you truly owning your power, you truly um, following your path. Yeah, judgment. This is a lesson that you have to learn, though, Scorpio. You have to learn just to honor yourself, you know, and, and, and do what's best, best for you. Embrace your uniqueness is what I'm seeing. And this is when happiness is here. This is when union is here. And I'm really feeling like for somebody, for some of you, you're in a divine path. And when I say that, I mean like twin, it could be a twin flame or anything like that in that nature. And I feel like, you know, maybe, um, you, you, you know, I'm saying it two ways. Um, maybe it's time for you to honor that path. You know, um, it's your option. Here, here we go. It's your option. If you would like to honor that path or not, you give him saying there's no wrong way to go about it. That's what spirit is saying. For somebody, okay? Because I just see like a, a coming together, you know? By you, whatever path that you choose to really what's best for you, okay? That's the path that you're going to get more pleasure from. I just hear like there's no, ooh, look at that. I told you, the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. There's no right or wrong way. Abundance here. Scorpios, I feel like with right here with this six of pentacles is all about, you know, an equal exchange, maybe going about it one way. It, it wasn't a certain maybe you were going about something one way and it wasn't getting you nowhere. Spirit really wants you to choose the path that pours into you. You understand me? That's what I'm seeing for you in the month of May. Choose the path that pours into you. There we go. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to go ahead and get into your monthly spiritual guidance. I will be right back. I did want to let some Scorpios know that you're going to be getting um, communication. Somebody's going to be expressing some kind of emotions. Um, the Queen of Cups right here, really pouring. I just see them pouring out their emotions, expressing how they feel. And I feel like this is a message that you've been waiting for. And I feel like it's all about you embracing yourself. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you're you're getting a message or you're someone is reaching out to you, Scorpio, that you desire to reach out to you. And they're going to really um, lay lay on the emotions thick. They're going to whatever they're telling you, it's making you happy. That's what I see. OK. All right, my Scorpio. So now we're going to go ahead and just see what spiritual guidance does spirit have for you in the month of May. So right up here, Scorpio is going to be what's crowning you. The things that you're going to be thinking about or spirit is going to be placing on your heart because any attention that you give to any of these things, the more fulfillment that you will see happen in your life in the month of May. Let me move this out of the camera frame. Sorry, guys. Okay, so let's just go ahead and look and see what's crowning you. Um, I always mess this word up, but I know what this card means. This card is all about um, judgment, okay? Completion. Um, grabbing divine wisdom and understanding. So what I really feel like there are going to be certain situations, especially like I said, anything that you are using um, Scorpio to avoid what it is that you need to do. You know, sometimes how we numb out, it could be a person, it could be a substance, it could be a way of thinking, a way of being. I already kind of explained that, but I feel like spirit is placing certain situations on your heart. Um, and with this card right here being all about completions, what needs to come to an end? What do you need to step away from? What do you need to walk away from? For, I, I, I keep saying this. I really feel like it is um, whatever you use to numb out or um, indulge in. It's something that you like. Uh, it's, it's so weird, guys, but spirit keeps asking me to <laughs> keeps emphasizing. My guys keep emphasizing on that. Um, so I really feel like what's crowning you 
or it's certain situations that spirit is placing on your heart, people, things that need to come to an end. Because the more that you close out these chapters, the more that you let go, you loosen your grip, the more fulfillment is that you're going to see in your life. For some of you, this is a physical relationship. It is as a person, you know, and maybe this person feels good to you. Maybe you love this person. Maybe it's all you've known, but it's time not, I don't know about forever, but in this moment, it's time to bring that to an end is what spirit is, um, spirit is showing me. Okay. So that's the first thing that's crowning you also. Yeah. Because with these closings and completing certain things, and I feel like these are lessons, um, Scorpio that you have to learn. Um, and also this could be in family, healing family wounds, healing, you know, um, I just see divine healing. Whatever strips you of your power, I feel like whatever you complete, maybe it's your own. Ooh, yeah, y'all said it. Your ego. As soon as I said that, look down at the car, guys. I ain't look at these. <laughs> this um, this is um dealing with your pride, your ego. Maybe um, you know, in certain f- um family situations or a relationship, you know, you you allow yourself just to get engulfed in your ego. You know, or maybe there is a relationship or a person or a family member that's like really engulfed in their ego, you know, and it's, it's kind of hard for you, but I feel like, um, there's something about pride and ego, putting it aside to really look at whatever this substance is, whatever this addiction is, whatever, um, cycles that you need to bring to a close, um, Scorpio, and you know what that is, but if you're finding it hard to do that, I feel like allowing your pride to die, you know, allowing it, you know, um, and realizing that our ego serves its purpose. It's not to say that the ego is a wrong or right, but it's about, is it beneficial to you right now in this moment? Because I feel like that's something that you're learning how to do, how to do too, Scorpio, is not run from your shadow, you know, and come into acceptance, you know, of the ego. Because maybe that's why you can't push past or move past certain things or complete certain cycles because you're not really allowing yourself to see, you know, to see that there might be a problem when it comes to pride, you know? But I feel like whatever that is, it's receiving healing. Spirit is bringing it up on your mind so it can have healing in the month of May. And also there's a strong connection with some of my Scorpios when it comes to music. I feel like reconnecting with music, um, even listening to healing music um, is really going to help um, liberate you and give you the confidence to really close out these cycles and um, complete these things that you need to do. Okay. So that's what I see. Um, it's not all the things that's going to be crowning you Scorpio, but those are just some of the major things that are going to um, be crowning you. Okay. So also, let's just see what's going on with you in love in the month of May. So these cards right here are usually what um, I asked the um, question of what does the energy of love want you to know about your love life or need from you in the month of May? And we got embrace, okay? Through each, through each other, you find the missing pieces, okay? And passion. A um, magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it, okay? So now, how I'm reading this, um, Scorpio, I'm about to say Pisces. I don't know why I did that. But how I'm seeing this, Scorpio, is we know that we got the reclaim card, okay? We know that we got the reclaim card. Sorry about the glare, guys. Um, And you know, reclaiming your power over something with the three of cups that you might be overindulging in. And I really felt like the addiction, it was, you know, um, something that you're, um, just uh, indulging in, (laughs) but I really feel like it is a relationship. Okay. There isn't a relation. There's a relationship and maybe this, this relationship has a lot of passion and I don't it could be a committed relationship but what I'm feeling like um just by some of these cards okay and embrace you know um you know that I don't want to call it a situationship but you know when um it's like you together but there's no title you're doing everything like a relationship but there's no title or you know it's one of those 
you desire it to be more, but it's late night. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just feel like where the passion is very passionate. It's so um, passionate, but what happens is the imbalance in this connection or this relationship is that it lacks emotions. Okay. And it's, it's sexual, but there's no intimacy. You understand what I'm saying? Um, and I feel like you and this person has connected through your brokenness. Okay. That's the way I'm seeing it. You know, like I have a, a saying from a poem that I, that I, that I talk about. It's like, um, um, we fell in love, but our demons fell in love too. Um, and I feel like the more that you heal yourself, um, Scorpio, the more that you emerge from the ground, um, I'm really feeling, and it's, it's, it's like almost stifling for me to say this, but this connection right here, you desire more, you desire more. Okay. And, um, even if you've been with this person a long time, so sorry guys, even if you've been with them a long time, the card that I got was children, your love life benefits as, um, your love life, your love life is being affected by children. Yes, this person could have kids. Um, but the way that I'm seeing this also to guys is that this connection, even if you've been together a long time, it's like immature. It's like it's stuck in the first stage. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all just, you know, talking, whatever, but you, you know, it's like in that just sex, but it's not sex, just sex. It's like, it's, it's passion. It's all of these things, but it can't get any farther to build. It's like, it's, it's stuck at an immature stage, you know? And I feel like it's due to this person has a lot of healing to do Scorpio. And, um, you know, sometimes it's better off to just go your way and allow a person to heal. Okay. Cause I feel like there's a, there's a lingering of waiting for some of you, you know, this is a connection, like you're hoping that it might turn out another way. But for some, I just feel like there's this connection of, you know, we've been at this, you know, it's just, it's just, this over this, here we go <laughs> kind of cycle. Okay. If this is not your story, I don't know. Cause, um, spirit just really wants me to, to allow a person they need some clarity on this situation. Okay, guys. And we know that's how these general readings go. Okay. <laughs> but, um, don't worry. I'll be giving, um, I'll be doing monthly spiritual, not monthly spiritual. Um, this is your monthly spiritual. I'll be doing love stories or love readings for the month of May. I'm bringing that back. Okay, guys. So definitely check there. Um, but yeah, like this person is too immature to really, they don't allow, I don't even want to call them immature. They are not good at showing their emotions. They don't like to, um, when it gets deep, they run. And that's something with their inner child that they're working through. Okay. That's what I, that's what I'm feeling. Like they're, they're healing. Because as I told you earlier, someone is going to be pouring out some emotions. Maybe this is a part, maybe this is that person. It could be another person that's going to, you know, um, show some interest towards you, Scorpio. I don't know what it is. Okay. But I just feel like, um, somebody's going to be coming towards you and maybe, um, you know, you're feeling like this person doesn't have emotions. You know, it's unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And not even that, like you need passion you need lust and love you know you need you need passion and emotion okay one without the other it's just not going to work it's imbalanced okay so with the deception here i feel like this person does feel a lot for you scorpio um but they have to get out of their own head they have to um you know really look at their truth to come out of their ego go ahead and make a romantic gesture um and i feel like for some of you this is a this is um like a newer connection that holds a lot of passion too that's another way that i'm seeing it <laughs> you know um moving what moving away from the first storyline that i was talking about i do see like um this being something new or it's at that new stage with children here, it's fresh. You know, maybe you're fearing that this person is, um, doesn't have any emotions towards you. It's just like that crush and that, you know, fun, like little stage right here. I feel like this person, okay, that's the energy spirit is saying, okay. 
When I said that a person is going to be coming forth, pouring out emotion, this is a newer connection. They're going to be pouring out emotions about how they care about you, how they're going to express. Yeah, honeymoon, this is a new connection, okay? So yeah, that's for that. Um, the Going back to the first storyline I was talking about with this person, you know, having issues with expressing their self um, and you can't really move past is because, you know, with the nine of arrows, it's all about being dedicated, dedication. This person can be dedicated to you, Scorpio, until they're dedicated to their self. And I feel like maybe you're just keeping things open. Spirit is saying, you know, just keep things open because I feel like some of you, maybe you're just, you know, just solely focused on this per per person and spirit is asking you to open up, you know, be flexible, you know, don't stop your life. Don't, don't be unhappy and in misery. You know, for some of you, I feel like you're going to make a decision in the month of May to mourn this collection connection, um, you know, this connection and just, you know, move on to, um, more options because you have options. You really do. And I feel like that's going to be, you know, you know, very good for you. Um, with a spark of life, you're going to go here to another connection. You're going to see that something else is available here for you. And then for some of you, I really feel like you're going to, um, you know, wait on this person. And I, I don't see, well, you know, no, hold on. Let me tell you, let me slow down. Um, for some of you, I see this person, you and this person connecting and coming together in union, reunion, reuniting um, in the month of May. Because maybe um, you have already been out of touch and they've been doing their healing and they've been doing that. You know, if this has been a drawn out thing, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, however, for some of you, I feel like union is very much real. But you're going to have to allow this person to grow, okay? Allow this person to grow. And, you know... It all depends on when they're starting to do the work and, you know, do that. So it's not going to be this month. However, you know, it's all about what you want to do with the six of essence or a soulmate connection. You know, that you feel like this soul connection to this person. And with ancestor here, this is like the magician. You can make it happen. It can happen. It's just about you have to understand, though, divine timing is at play here. But if, you know, don't stop your life is, is what I'm seeing. Okay. So that's what I see for love. <laughs> I pray that I explained that right. And now we're going to take a look and just see what will bring you more fulfillment in the month of May. If you apply it to your life, if you listen to these things, let go of the guilt. I release any belief that no, any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. That's something that you can't carry the guilt around. And maybe that's bringing up the um, overindulgence, um, Scorpio, because you're carrying some guilt around about a situation. Um, and I feel like the more that you let go of the guilt, the more um, I feel like your vibration is going to rise and the more you're going to move away from whatever that addiction is and reclaim your power when you let go of the guilt. Also, we have health here, paying attention to your health. You know, if it is a substance abuse, you know, um, but also just doing anything, you know, related to your health mentally, spiritually and physically is going to benefit you in the month of May. Also, we have totality right here. Can you guys see that totality? Hope you can. And this is all about emerging the light and the dark, understanding that they both serve their purpose, N not running from either or. All right, Scorpio, so it says duality, black and white, good and evil, yes and no, up and down, want and don't want. These are all examples of duality and, um, <laughs> oh my God, this messes word up, um, the thinking of duality. What if you balance, uh -huh, mm, I'm so sorry, guys. What if you banned these labels from your thoughts for a day? What would happen? Would the world end? doubtful would some people get away with something no would you attach less emotions to a bad situation or drama possibly if that happened and there was less attachment to a situation you could keep your vibration higher which would enable you to deal more successfully with any situation that comes your way Given enough time, most bad situations work out in the end. If it is your choice 
to be drama free or spend a lot of time and energy wasted on a situation that will turn out okay in the end. What do you choose? And this is what I mean by removing those labels. Sometimes we will, because even when I was reading that, what came up was the relationship that I was talking about. You know, sometimes we can get attached to, you know, this is my person and it has to be this way. And not saying that that's not true, but when you put that much demand on such stuff, you know, I have to walk this way. I have to have that career. I have to have that only one thing out of billions of things in the world. Do you feel how one to one million, like how stressful that is? You know, if spirit is saying Scorpio, remove the labels and just see it as it is. When you remove labels, you know, Scorpio, that was one of the things that, um, you know, that's even when I read, <laughs> cause I know we're all on different journey here, journey here guys, but just saying, you know, if you define a relationship as a twin flame or a soulmate or a karmic, you know what I'm saying? Like names like that, when you remove those titles, when you remove, it just takes off that weight. You get what I'm saying? Because one of the things that um, COVID-19 showed us, what we deemed as important and the higher upper crew or people in jobs that has, that, that went out the window. Like labels, you know, now who was at the bottom is at the top. But I'm, I know I'm using labels, but I'm trying to give an example. Like none of that, we've seen that none of that matters. Everyone is, of everyone and everything is of importancy. And I feel like that's what spirit is trying to get um, Scorpio, the, um, the lens, to switch the lens and the way that you're seeing things and to open up and be more flexible. Okay, so that's what I see. And also we have self-love, giving yourself self-love, Scorpio. Self-love. We got the moon, the sun. Let me tell you something. Can nobody love you like you love you? Because you loving you gives everybody else a prime example of how to love you. Because what you allow is what will continue, period. And Tori knows that firsthand. Scorpio. I learned that firsthand. And it says self-love. We always try to think so highly of the ones we love. We even give strangers the benefit of the doubt. But when it comes to self-love, many of us fall short. To love oneself is to accept imperfections, embrace, embrace learning and, and embrace learning and battle through the all-consuming fire of self-doubt in order to find the energetic balance inside each of us. Be aware of the small insidious voice that prepare that prepares that perhaps repeats the negative self examination or assignment you had as a child maybe an ex lover or a friend put a label on you that you've accepted these self judgments have no place in a whole healthy relationship that is vital to have with yourself it's only when you find your love for yourself that you can sincerely offer love to others and vice versa scorpio it all begins with you you tell a peep you tell the world how to treat you you show them by how you treat yourself what you allow to happen okay so the word that spirit wants Scorpio to keep at the forefront of their mind in the month of May is entanglements. You know, I need you, you know, spirit just wants you to know, I'm going to read this, but what I'm just um, also feeling Scorpio is just, you know, look at everything because believe it or not, when you choose to, and what, whatever you choose to engage you choose to allow it inside of you. We all have a choice in things. And I feel like it's just a mirror that spirit just wants you to look at. What do you choose to entangle yourself with? You know, it doesn't have to be a bad thing. Choose things that really uplift you. Choose things that move away from the guilt, you know, that help lift your vibration. 
And maybe for some of my Scorpios, you just need to un untangle yourself from the labels. That's what I'm saying. You know, allow the labels and whatever judgments that you have placed on yourself or in certain situations to fall away. Untangle yourself from the labels. Okay? So let me go ahead and read a little bit from the angels. Okay, so it says entanglements. This card is of caution. Pay attention to the details. Being aware gives you power to change a situation that could cause complications. What are you allowing yourself to become involved in? What is it that you truly want? Look at the larger picture investigate all aspects then with your eyes open walk through and don't become trapped try looking at things from a new angle or perspective there may be hidden elements that you are overlooking be cautious taking a new direction may help you avoid becoming trapped in a situation you may later regret all right so my love muffins Above all, Scorpio, what spirit wants you to really keep at the forefront of your mind in the month of May? No matter what you are looking at, remember that you are the creator of your reality, that the power lies inside of you. Be courageous, okay? And be about you. That's what it is. Untangle yourself from anything that isn't about Scorpio, that doesn't see you as the beautiful soul that you are, <laughs> okay? So I love you guys so freaking much. It was such an honor to read for the beautiful soul who is viewing this video. I love you guys, and I will catch you on my channel. Take care. She blazing.